Hello viewers and geography and QGIS enthusiasts. In this video I will discuss how to create a map of the communication network of a specific part which you want to show and also how to make routing in the end of the roads, how to assign arrows. First I've created a road layer, now I will save the edits. This is the road layer. It simply shows specific parts. I will not show, of course, the whole town, but only specific part of it. And I want uh, the extent to be something like that rectangle. You can see even on my layout, I've already drawn that on the composer. You can see my extent. It is going to be rectangular and I want the root of the road to show near the edges. Now I've already drawn the arrows, which in this case, as you can see, they are also line layer. Why did I choose line instead of point layer? It's simple. I want to direct the rotation of the arrow graphically. So I will show you how to do that. In this case, uh, this is the ar this is the arrow in the end of this road. You can see that if I move this handle, the arrow direction changes because I've set it to be shown only on the first vertex. That that means, however many vertexes I have after the first. Only the first two vertexes will determine the rotation of the arrow. That is done simply by going to the SVG marker I've uh, set and marker line and you can see here on the first vertex only. Offset along line, in this case it is only for the first vertex and it shows the distance between the first vertex and the placement of the arrow. If I set it to zero the arrow will be too close and I don't want the arrow to cover the road too much. That's why I set it to 7. It is of course determined by the size of the arrow itself. Now we have a problem of course. After placing the root arrow you can see that the road still extends and I want the road to be invisible in this part. Of course I can simply delete the road from here on, but I've created another solution which is simple as well. Let's save the roads there because I will not edit them and load the roads and the roads. Now let's set the snapping to the roads there. Like that. And now, and I said it that. Now I will cut the selected road here, at this point. Of course, I will do that simultaneously for all roads. Select all the roads I want to cut. Go to the split command, and simply draw a line like that. Now I cut all three roads simultaneously. Now select the roads which I do not want to be shown from here to the end. So I will go to the attribute table, select the roads on top and I will set a class for them that will not show on the map. Let's set it to zero, zero or zero. And now I will go to the symbology by double clicking and this is the zero which I want to be invisible. In this case I will set it simply to either zero which is impossible but I can set it with zero transparency which is the same. That is one way to do it or the other way to do it is uh, to choose a color that is invisible. 
as well. But I prefer this type, simply setting the transparency. And also this one is will be very strange if it uh, starts from nowhere and then nowhere because we don't see this rod. So I will set its attribute also to zero so that it becomes invisible as well. Right. And uh, let's see on the map. Save settings. Save editing for this layer. Go to the composer. Refresh. Also, I will load the, the layer combination. And you can see perfectly illustrated here. The road ends and only the arrow extends and shows the root of the road. That is the simplest way I found to do that. Of course, after creating your map and uh, you want the road to be as it was originally, you will simply again go to the roads there, leave it only the layer and simply merge the features while keeping the original attributes. And they will become visible. Just like that. And that is simply how to do it. Of course, creating uh, is easy when the extent is small, but uh, consider that if you have um, many hundreds of roads, you only need to do that procedure for the few important roads. The other roads, you can set it uh, just to sh show it through the map. It's not that big of a deal. But for the most important communication network, you need to do that procedure to show the route where it is going. So, thank you for spending the time with me and watching the video. I hope this was useful for your practice and uh, most importantly have fun with your work and uh, keep improving. Get better each and every day. So make sure you watch my other videos. Be healthy and see you in the next video. It's Nicole Alev from Adisov signing off and wishing you a nice day.